Hello guys, welcome to another video. So today I would like to talk about suspension on electric unicycles. So the question is, is suspension the future of electric unicycles? I would tend to say yes, and I'm going to explain why. So first you saw on the intro of this video, I was on my god when Nicola uh, going full speed in traffic uh, in a road that I did not know. I was trying to follow up with uh, other experimented uh, riders and I was quite going fast, not knowing the road. And I was paying attention to the imperfection on, on the road. And even like that, it was going too fast. I cannot keep up with the manholes, the, the bumps and I almost ate it quite a few times actually. Uh, I was seated, uh, I was riding seated and when you ride seated on a non-suspension wheel you have to squat a bit, use your legs, you know, you cannot just fully uh, sit on the seat otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna take hits very strongly so you have to, to, to flex a bit, to squat a bit on the seat uh, around 20-30% uh, which is what I was doing and even then, you could see that I almost fell, <laughs> at least twice, even more actually, I didn't put everything. Uh, because it's, it was, I mean, when you take a, a bump, it's, it's like a punch in, in uh, you take a punch, uh, it's, it's, it's very shocking, you know. So, and so when you ride, an, uh, as is, my experience is that when I ride a non-suspension wheel, you, of course, you, you have to pay attention, you have this little stress for paying attention to bump, trying to not fall all the time, uh, which uh, kind of is uh, a disturbance for my ride, you know, when I try to enjoy my ride, I, I always have to be careful of everything of, uh, on the road, you know, in order, in order to not take a, a bump, it has become something normal for UC riding, but when you start riding a suspension wheel, it's another experience. So I tried uh, all the suspension wheels available in the market. So what do we have? We have the Kingsong S18, we have the Inmotion V11, and you have the Bigod EX. So I tried the three of them. Um, and uh, I even bought the V11 for a short moment of time. And man, when I was riding with it, uh, it was so comfortable. I took a bridge which has a lot of bumps all the way. It's called the Williams, Williamsburg Bridge. It's a non-stop ride with bumps all the time. And when I took it with the V11 seated on top of it, oh, it was uh, it was super smooth. Super smooth. Uh, you don't have that concern of bumps. Of course, you still need to ride a suspension wheel with uh, your knees uh, bent, of course. Uh, you cannot just be standing, otherwise you're gonna, you can still fall. But at least it reduces a lot the bounce you take when you, you when you hit a really mean bump, you know. So, so you have we have three. So I was saying we have three wheels, you know, the S18, V11, and EX. Uh, for me, the best suspension wheel, uh, the best suspension is the Kingsong S18. Uh, the experience is very good on this wheel. The problem is that with the S18. The battery is too weak, you know. And um, again, you replace the worry of the suspend of the bumps by the worry of cutting out the, on the wheel because the battery is so weak on the Kingsong S18. That's the problem, you know. Uh, I don't know why they decided to do this. It's such, it's really too bad, too bad because I, I would have get, got it immediately. You know, if it has a bigger battery, I would get the S18 on the spot, you know. The problem is uh, the battery is too weak, you know, for me it's too dangerous to, to ride that. So 
why I'm trying to get a suspension wheel? Uh, why, why I like suspension wheel? It's because I want to reduce my worries when I ride, you know? So, so that's the point. So there's no point to replace a worry by another, you know? So, I mean, what, what do we have left? We have the V11. In motion, V11 has a slightly bigger battery than the S18. It's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite good. Like, it's overall very good wheel that will uh, satisfy most of the users as long as you are not a speed demon. If you are a speed demon and if you like to torque your wheel or so, uh, and you have a heavy rider, um, I don't know if the V11 is uh, the right wheel. So what happened is that I bought the V11. Uh, it, has, it had a problem right out of the box. So that's another video. Um, so, but I could try it like for one hour. I ride a, a bit everywhere in the city and yeah, it was, it's, 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 it's completely like the worry is gone. You know, you still feel the bumps, you feel the bumps, but you don't feel the bolt, the jolt that you get when you're not shaken up, that you get when you hit a bump, you know that you hit a bump, but you, you, you are not shaken up by it. That, that's the experience, the experiment, uh, that's the experience I, I got with the suspension, you know, so it's, it's, it's very comfortable. So, um, uh, but the problem also with the V11 is that you, you have to be conscious that you should not go beyond 28, 29 safely. When you start to hit 30, depends on the weather, your weight, etc. But it's a, it's a good 25 miles per hour wheel, you know. Uh, it's, 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 a good, it's a good wheel for that. And then what tests we have? We have the Gotway, the Big God, the Gotway, which one you prefer? EX. Uh, my most favorite wheel by far. Why, why is that? Uh, because it's way more powerful already. It's more powerful like a big old gateway wheel, you know, so 100 volts, it gives you the security uh, that you expect uh, to avoid cutouts and over torquing the wheel, you know. Uh, that wheel is very torquey, you know, and uh, it's big, but torquey. Uh, so we have the power and we have the suspension. Granted, the suspension on the Gotway EX is not as good as what you could get in the S18 or V11. It's simpler. But actually, when you think about it, it doesn't matter. You know, all I want in a wheel, suspension wheel, is a powerful wheel that has suspension and will prevent me from being shaken up uh while riding you know like in the intro of, the, of that video you know so so for me uh in the gotway ex so far answers all my request on the suspension will of course that will has some problems as well any wheel has, has problem any wheel each time you buy you get a wheel there's good and bad pro and cons and you have to, it depends if uh, your ability to tolerate the pros and the cons will be a deciding factor for getting a wheel. And for me, the best suspension wheel so far for the moment is the Gotway EX. Um, that unfortunately, the EX has quite big problems with the bearings right now. And so it's a bit uh, scary to buy a one and then have bearing issues after after a few weeks, or some, uh, sometimes after days, you know, some in the latest wheels, I heard of uh, bearing issue after a few days only, not necessarily on the EX, but anything with any new wheel with that auto motor, I heard, yeah, it's, it's uh, the bearing problem is uh, supposedly addressed. Big is saying they addressed apparently, but I don't know if it's true. Uh, uh, so, so, so far, buying one now, it's a bit uh, scary. Uh, it's also a very expensive wheel, you know. So it's uh, yeah, we have to think before buying the the Gotway EX. But so far, the people who got it, I see online, are quite satisfied. When I tried it, I tried it twice, and yeah, really liked this wheel. I really, I really liked it. It's, it's very funny because. <laughs> I'm on the, there's a video by uh, EVX where he's saying that New York didn't like the EX and he put me in the, in the front picture of that video, whereas I actually like that wheel, you know, so I'm just waiting to, to see if they're going to fix 
the bearings and uh, once they do that uh, probably I'm gonna get it uh, because uh, yeah I'm a fan of suspension a lot of experienced riders don't like suspension and for me I don't know it's a question mark I don't understand why they don't want suspension all the modern vehicles that I use on a daily basis have suspension you know <laughs> you don't see a car without a suspension you know uh, you take a, a scooter, you know, to try to ride a scooter with and without suspension. It's, it's day and night. So why not uh, EUCs as well? well for me, uh, suspension is, is very good. But I always I advise that if you are a new rider, learn on a non-suspension wheel. That's for sure. Otherwise, you're going to be shocked. You have to experiment getting bumps. But after that, uh, for safety, suspension is a must for me, you know, I can't wait to have, to own uh, a suspension wheel that makes, that has power, that's powerful, and uh, that's not gonna got me almost ejected like uh, you could see, in, like my current wheel, the Gotwin Nicola. So that's all I got for now. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.